What is going on everybody, A&B Coinbush, you're here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbush video for you all today. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a $20 million buy-in, and they gave us 2,222 quarters to get started today. Kind of an odd quarter amount, but you know what, I'll take it. It's much better than 2,000 quarters even, so... Anyway, wish me the best of luck, hopefully we can knock down this humongous wall they got in here. They also got like three $1 chips up front pretty close to the edge. Each one of those is worth 500 three quarters if we can win those. So it's technically 1,500 quarters sitting there on the edge waiting to be pushed out of there, which is awesome. And they got a huge wall made out of gold bars and uh, $5,000 chips. And on top of that, they got a big old tower on the pressure made out of gold and uh, $10,000 chips. They got two smaller dollar sign money mystery bags behind the wall on the white shelves, along with three towers on each side of the white shelves made out of $25,000 chips. And there's two stacks of cash on top of that. So, yeah, you best believe they got a lot in there today. We're definitely gonna make an absolute fortune. Now, we definitely got plenty of quarters as long as we can win these three $1 chips right here. Before we're completely out of quarters, I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get that $1 chip on the left, I suppose. Possibly the one on the right side as well. Oh yeah, it's all moving forward, you all. Come on, nice push. Oh my goodness, dropping quarters all over the place. Oh yeah, that wall back there, it's about to lose one stack of gold. There's like one remaining stack of gold. Once that pushes out from under that wall, we might be able to get the whole thing to collapse down. That would be absolutely outstanding, wouldn't it? I would love to see that happen. And if something happens, that stack of gold... Well, I was going to say if something happens, that stack of gold... When it falls out from under there, doesn't knock down the wall. Whenever that tower on the pressure falls down, that would definitely push it out of there. Oh my goodness, this is raining gold and $5,000 chips. Wow, she's doing incredible right now. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna get these $1 chips right fast. Let's see, I'm trying to find the other one. I know there was a third one down here. Yep, there it is, so. Anyway, I think we should go ahead and turn in the $1 chips. Here they are. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn those in, get our 500, I mean uh, 1,500 free quarters, and uh, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Let's see what this push does right here, though. I think we're going to get another one right there. See all that poker chip? Oh, my goodness. All this right here is about to go. So I'm going to turn these $1 chips in before any more poker chips fall down. So, yeah, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in the three one dollar chips. They gave us our fifteen hundred quarters. So let's use those quarters to try to knock down this big old tower on the pressure shelf. Yeah, it's made out of gold bars and ten thousand dollar chips. And at least they got a lot of gold in there today. The entire uh, base of that wall was all one ounce gold bars. Now, you're welcome to count up any of this money that you're seeing in here just to see how much it is in total. But I'm thinking all the poker chips, you know, considering they got $25,000 chips in there, I'd say this game, we're going to do really, really well on it. We're definitely going to make our 20 million bucks back without a doubt. I'd say there might be close to 20 million in poker chips in there on the dot. Maybe 18 million, 17 million, I couldn't tell you really. Alright, there we go. Had to get that uh, loot shoot cleared out. Uh, we've been playing close to 10 minutes so far. For you all, I'm not going to edit the video down to about 5, 6 minutes. But, uh, anyway, let's see. Hopefully we can knock down this ginormous tower on the pressure. It's like... About to go. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. That was absolutely incredible. 
Oh my goodness, but I definitely heard a whole bunch of stuff fall down in that little opening space that is right up above the loot chute, which means the owner got a lot of our money that just fell off of the edge there. I don't know if you can hear it, but now it sounds like stuff falling inside the machine. It's stuff falling down that little opening space down here. That loot chute gets too full. Matter of fact, we need to get it cleared out again. I don't know if it's just me, but on this uh, brand new machine right here, I mean, it's technically brand new. We've been playing it close to two weeks now. But this, I think, makes exactly two weeks of this being here. Um, pretty much, I think the loot chute piles up faster than the old machine. That's just what it seems like to me anyway. I don't know that for sure. Like right now, it's already piled up again. I mean, it's a good problem to have. I would, you won't hear me complaining about it. Well, other than, you know, losing stuff because the loot chute bowls over, but... Anyway, let's see. Something else I was going to tell you. Oh, um, these uh, little slots on the left and the right side here, we call those the dealer slots or the uh, banker slots. All that money that falls down through there goes straight to the owner. I do not get to win or keep any of that money. Once it falls down in there, it's gone forever pretty much. Sometimes we can get real lucky though and we'll win a $50 chip. And that $50 chip, we get to turn that in. They take all the stuff that's fallen down in the banker slots. They put it all back into the play field. So yeah, it would be real nice to win that $50 chip today. But uh, anyhow, uh, something that I've noticed, I don't think we've won like any mystery bags at all. Yeah, those are the only two mystery bags that I was seeing in there. And I've not seen a green earbud, a red earbud, or a $5 chip fall out of there. I mean, I'll check the loot chute, of course. I'll separate all them poker chips, gold bars that we won, just to see, you know, just to double check and make sure we didn't win one of those items. But basically, we're going to have to pay two times the original buy-in in order to get the white shelves today. We technically have to do that, you know, if we're going to make our buying money back. Sounds like it's either quit right now with potentially 5 million, or it's more than 5 million, maybe about 10 million worth of poker chips and about a million worth of gold. Or, you know, pay an extra $40 million and get all those $25,000 chips. And, you know, there could be some white dots in the mystery bags. So I don't know, they may have gotten us on this game right here. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. Let's get that last little bit of cash on the right side there. Nice, we got it all out of there. That is absolutely fantastic. This has been a excellent game today, I'll tell you that. So anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, separate all that stuff that's down here in the loot chute, and then we'll make a decision whether or not to pay the two times original buy-in. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I've got some good news and also got some bad news. Um, pretty much, uh, I separated all those poker chips and gold and quarters that was down there in the loot chute, and there was no sign of a green earbud, a red earbud, or a $5 chip. So that's the bad news, but the good news is, I mean, you know, I had to pay two times original buying, of course. But the good news, they told me that there's definitely some dice hidden inside the mystery bags. So, yeah, I'm really, really hoping it's worth it. I mean, we got $60 million total in this game. They cost us $40 million to have them put that stuff into the play field. So, I'm just really, really hoping it is worth it today. All right, well, both of the stacks of cash got stuck in the loot chute. Let's try to get those cleared out. All right, we got one of them. Let's see if we can't get the other one. Well, it's been a little bit stubborn. Nice, there we go. We got both of them. So let's keep on pushing. Let's load this thing up with quarters by uh, using that skill stop. We can't put too often any in there on this machine, though, because they'll end up getting stuck behind that plexiglass back there. See what I'm saying? They're already getting stuck, and we barely put any in there at all. 
I mean, I just want to put enough in there to get things moving, you know what I'm saying? More weight and pressure that is behind all the towers, the better. So let's see what that does. That right there may be too many quarters on its own, I don't know. Well, they're breaking free. We'll be okay, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. We got the tower in the center to go. Got another tower on the left side to drop. Right, let's get that lead sheet cleared out. So hopefully they got something real good in the mystery bags. Got two of them in there. Yeah, it would be nice to get like another special chip or a special earbud that gets us a free bonus tower. Or multiple free bonus towers. I mean, considering we paid 20 million to play this game, there should be another special chip in there. $50 chip would be nice as well. Maybe the $10 chip. Who knows, we'll just have to wait and open up the mystery bags. So I don't think the manager was too happy about you know, the employee's given us 2,222 quarters to start out with because it turns out uh, they somehow mixed things up. They were supposed to give somebody else that quarter amount, and we were only supposed to get 1,100 quarters for this game right here. So they mixed up the quarter amounts. They accidentally gave us, you know, so many extra quarters, and they didn't give the other player that's playing on the other machine over there enough quarters so but I mean mistakes happen like that that happens pretty frequently though sometimes they get confused on how many quarters they're supposed to give us they get it mixed up so anyway let's see I'm hoping we can get all four of these poker chip towers now these are all $25,000 chips each one of these towers are now there's it only takes four of them to make a hundred grand, so I'd say we're looking at you know six, seven million dollars right here, maybe eight, nine million. You never know. Oh wow, check it out. We got one of them to go. Let's see if we can't get that other one. This one's like completely hanging over the edge. That is absolutely insane. I don't know how a tower could defy gravity like that. That is absolutely insane. So anyhow, the number for today is, uh, let's see, what would be a good number for today? Let me think about it for a second. Uh, today, let's do the number 444. I'll make the number 444 if you've made it this far into the video. That will let me know that you're still watching the video and still tuned in and whatnot. Oh yeah, I'm seeing that big old tower on the right corner move forward. I think we'll get that one to go here shortly, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we'll finish out this basket of quarters right here. Try to get some progress on that tower. Yeah, we'll also open up the mystery bags here before too long. We'll see what they got stashed in those. Hopefully they're loaded up extra good. After this bowl of quarters, I'll open up the mystery bag, so stay tuned for that. So if you've enjoyed this video so far and you want to see videos like this every single day, seven days a week, uh, be sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell icon, that way you're up to date for future videos. And uh, also share this video right here with a friend or a family member. Just hit that share button. And you can send it to anybody you want to on Facebook, Facebook Messenger, or just through a text message through a link or something. All you got to do is hit that share button and it'll give you the options for what you can share it to. So let's try to share this video to at least five friends or family members. Share this video with at least five people you know. Or share it with everybody you know. I would greatly appreciate that if you could do that for me. And uh, something else, people, I see comments like this all the time. 
people were saying they watched my videos on Facebook or TikTok. Well, first of all, I've never uploaded any videos myself on uh, Facebook. I don't post videos on Facebook or TikTok at all. Now, I, about two years ago, I did post a couple TikTok videos, and uh, they didn't do so well on there because there was a uh, another page on TikTok that was still in my videos along with uh, Coin Pressure Joe's videos and I think Dalton's Garage, they were posting his content as well on that uh, TikTok account. It had like over a million followers, like I mean it was outrageous. And you know they were probably making money off of all of our content. I don't know if that page has been shut down or not. I think the thing is called like Coin System Player or something, but I mean it was blatantly stealing all of our content on purpose. Uh, people would actually believe that that was me or Joe uploading on that and you know it just created a whole bunch of confusion and it definitely hurt the views for us on the channel several times so uh, if you're watching these videos on Facebook or like TikTok I mean I'm just telling you right now I'm not the one posting those videos on there somebody is downloading my videos off of YouTube and using them as their own content it's so basically still in my work is what it is. So if you see my videos or Coin Pressure Joe's videos on Facebook or anything like that, just report it and you know don't watch them there. Always watch our videos on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I only post videos on YouTube now. My channel is called A&B Coin Pressure, and uh, if you want to check out Coin Pressure Joe's videos, his channel is just called uh, Coin Pressure. And there's another channel, it's called Coin Pressure Junior. He hadn't uploaded in a long time. So I'd go subscribe to that if you haven't already. So uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, I think we should go ahead and call it quits right there. Um, let's go ahead and open up both of these like dollar sign money mystery bags. Yeah, these are the smaller dollar sign mystery bags. Uh, normally they got larger ones in there sometimes, but today they put a couple smaller ones. Hopefully they're loaded up just as good though. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got the mystery money keychain that could be worth one dollar all the way up to a billion dollars. We got uh, ten grand and five thousand dollar chips, that's pretty sweet. And uh, we got two one dollar chips, that's a thousand more quarters. We got three white dice and one gold dice. So the white dice multiply our poker chips and the cash if we want any of that. And it'll also multiply the value of this keychain. And you know, the gold dice that'll multiply the gold obviously. So that is really, really good. That mystery bag was surprisingly, you know, loaded up extra good. And those one dollar chips could be a valid indication that there could be another special chip or earbud in this mystery bag. Well, I don't think it's an earbud just by feeling of it, so this is our last chance of getting another special chip today. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, we got super lucky right here, you all. Check this out. Hang on, let me set the mister back down. All right, there we go. So we got uh, 20 grand in poker chips. That's pretty good. We got uh, two $1 chips and the $10 chip. So this $10 chip, we'll get to turn this in to let me spin a wheel. That wheel has all these different types of poker chip values on them. Whatever it lands on, that's what type of brand new tower they'll build in there. We got two one dollar chips. That's a thousand more quarters. We got two more gold dice and four white dice. That is absolutely outstanding. This is going to be a huge win off of a sixty million dollar buy-in game. I'll tell you that right now. All right. Well, let's go ahead and turn in the ten dollar chip and the four one dollar chips, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I uh, turned in that $10 chip and those other four $1 chips with one. They gave us 2,000 more quarters. And uh, we got to spin that wheel today. It landed on $5,000 chips. So as you can see, they built a big old tower of $5,000 chips in there. And they also scattered a whole bunch of $5,000 chips everywhere in the play field. And they took both of them big old $25,000 chip towers. They just put all those uh, back there on the pressure. They built two brand new towers back there. So 
Yeah, those are in a much better spot now. We don't got them to go. So it should be smooth sailing from here on out. Let's just try to push all these poker chips out of here and make an absolute fortune. Let's clear out that wheat too, though. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's keep on going. Yeah, it would be nice if we'd have gotten that $50 chip today, though, because we have lost a lot of stuff because that loot chute got too full. And to the uh, banker slots on the left and the right side. So let's push all this stuff out of here. Oh, yeah, that was a nice push right there, wasn't it? That was really good. About to lose 25 grand on the right side there. That's all right, I guess. Oh, wow, that was a nice push right there, wasn't it? Won't be long we'll have the whole entire machine cleared out. I'm just hoping we've won enough money today to make our $60 million back. What it all boils down to is what those uh, dice that we've won land on. They all land on ones. You know, the ones do not count at all. But the odds of all of them landing on ones is very, very slim. So, except we've won, uh, I don't even know, like... $17 million in poker chips if we, the white dice total up to three, three times 17 million, that'd be close to our 60 million back, so the dice would have to total up to at least four today. We're going to make our uh, $60 million investment back pretty much. That's how I'm looking at it. But yeah, we have won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the white dice and three gold dice. So, yeah, the odds of seven dice totaling up to anything below four is very, very slim, really. Unless they all end on, you know, bad numbers, which I highly doubt that's going to happen. All right, let's try to push that last 25 grand out of the way over there on the right side, and we'll be set. It's been a marvelous game today so far, I'll tell you. And, um, you know, just in case you haven't been watching the videos over the past few weeks or something like that, um, this right here is the brand new machine. Basically the same thing as the old one, except uh, the shelves and the wall is different colors. I like this one a lot better. Seems like it just pushes a lot better anyway. And it doesn't look as, uh, what do you call it, the, the old machine, it looks like it's tore all to pieces, really. The paint on the blue shelves is just chipped, and the wall is chipped. There's paint missing from several spots in the machine. It just don't look as good as this one. You could tell that other machine was used, but this one right here looks brand new, really, if you think about it. That 25 grand just slid backwards a little bit. See how it's like on top of those quarters? Might be a little bit before we get that. I don't know. I'm going to try my best to get it, though. Now, sometimes the last poker chip can be very, very stubborn to win. It's just one thing you have to deal with while playing these. But once you get that last poker chip or last skull bar... Or let's just say last uh, item out of there, it's definitely worth the hassle, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely worth the wait after you win the last item out of there for sure. Oh yeah, see what I'm saying? It just moved forward tremendously. We're going to get it. It's only a matter of time now. Oh, yeah. It's hanging about, I'd say, a quarter of the way over the edge. Something like that. 
what I mean by one quarter, it's like one fourth of the way over the edge as of right now. Now it's about halfway. Another push or two and we'll definitely win it. Watch this. Now it's a little bit over half. All right, there we go. We got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely amazing. This has been a phenomenal game today. Absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and call them back here, have them put all 10 of them dice on the pusher, and using their quarters, we'll roll them down to that lower shelf. And uh, whatever numbers they're facing upwards, that's going to be our multipliers for this game. So let's call them back here. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here. They put all 10 of them dice on the pressure, so let's roll them down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they total up to some really good numbers today. Well, we definitely got more than four on the white dice, which is exactly what we needed. So yeah, this right here is going to be hundreds of millions of dollars profit on this. I'm guaranteeing you that. Alright, so anyhow, I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by all this right here. Uh, it looks like we only got two ones, the ones do not count at all, like I said, we went on everything from two to six, so the majority of them dice are winning numbers, so I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our gold by that, and I'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a, a $60 million buy-in, so we'll be right back, stay tuned everybody. You all are not going to believe how much money we ended up winning today from a $60 million buy-in. Wow, this right here is absolutely incredible. I was definitely not expecting a huge win like this right here. This is absolutely fantastic. So we ended up winning $18,374,000. That was the poker chips, the cash, and the value of that mystery money keychain all put together. Now that keychain today was worth $174,000. So yeah, that right there is absolutely incredible. And the uh, white dice today totaled up to 26, so that put us up to $477,724,000 from a, a $60 million investment. So it means we ended up profiting $417,724,000 today. Honestly, I don't even know what to say right now. That is absolutely insane that is a humongous gigantic life-changing jackpot win right there that was a super duper good game uh, be sure you leave a giant thumbs up on this video right here if you enjoyed that we do videos like this every single day so be sure you subscribe and uh, turn on the bell icon if you haven't already so uh, anyway the win doesn't even end there on top of that we ended up winning 144 ounces of gold on this game today and the uh, gold dice totaled up to seven, so that put us up to 1,008 ounces of gold. The spot price of gold, I'm going to say it's around $2,680 an ounce right now. It means we got $2,701,440 in gold. That right there is a super nice win for the gold. I was not expecting to win that much gold today. So uh, anyway, uh, last but not least, needless to say, we ended up winning, I think it was like... Uh, it might have been 1,341 quarters, so let's divide that by 4 to get the dollar amount. That means we got $335.25 in quarters. Not bad, not bad at all. I will take it. That is a huge win for the quarters there. And uh, just so you know, FYI, we do turn those quarters in for cash. We're not allowed to take the quarters out of the building. I mean, if we ask them, like, well, can I just take 5 or $10 in quarters with me? or something like that, they'll more than likely say yes, but they kind of have one of those rules where no quarters enter the building or no quarters leave the building, in a way, you know what I'm trying to say. But uh, anyhow, that right there is extremely good for a $60 million investment, so if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell icon, that way you're up to date for future videos. And if you want to check out uh, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe, that will appear at the top right. If you want to check out a video on the second channel, that will appear at the bottom left. If you want to subscribe to the second channel, that will appear at the top left. So with all that being said and stated, I'll see each and every one of you all on tomorrow's video. You all take care and have a fantastic day, everybody.